morning, Sycamore Junior High. Today is Tuesday, December 19th. I'm Myra. And I'm Abe. And we're here with your daily video announcements. Now let's all please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, we have exams this week. Yeah. Ooh. Do your best and remember that it's okay to make mistakes. Just answer the questions to do the best of your ability and end the semester strong. Our holiday break is almost here. Spread the holiday spirit and be respectful to all your teachers and peers. What do you celebrate during the holiday season? I celebrate Christmas. What about you? I celebrate Hanukkah. Ooh, that sounds fun. Okay, now let's head over to our clubs and activities announcements. Hello! Hello! Sycamore. Happy Terrific Tuesday. Yes, today is December 19th. That means the countdown to winter break continues. Even though exam starts today, guess what, Bryson? I'm kidding. I'm not talking to you. We have three more days to winter break. Oh, that took a lot of energy. Ooh. Stay super focused and finish 2023 super strong. I'm Jameson. And I'm Bryson. Here for daily clubs and video announcements. It's very important that we keep this energy up because we need you to listen. Mm -hmm. Attention, FDC Robotics, tomorrow's meeting is canceled, oh. except for the Bill team members. They have arrangements with Ms. Jarvis to work until 4.30, so make sure you get your work done. Last Friday, first class, to get results, the following students, Caleb Dallas, Zachary Bain, and Joey Conley were chosen to go meet against Mr. Heil in the Mario Kart Challenge. Mr. Hyle will reach out to you soon with details. Guess what we wear tomorrow? Wednesday, December 20th. It's probably the most odd day. Sugar Plum Day. We're purple because we like that color now. Yeah, purple. Also, I'm not forgetting this. Language arts and math exams are also on that day. So be prepared. And December 21st, Snowman Tinsel Day. And the art exam. Written. Exams. Woo! Yeah. December 22nd is probably my favorite day. I might have lied about the pajama day. Maybe ugly sweater day. Uh, yeah! Woo! Check your emails every day. Be responsible and make this a great place to be. Mark, Mark your, your calendars. calendars. Upcoming in January after winter break. January 8th, we return from winter break. January 9th through 10th is the art exam part 2 portfolio review slash classes critique. January 17th is the upcoming freshman camp where 8th graders go to the high school so 7th graders can run amok in the school. Yeah. Tell your parents to not play early dismissals between 9 and 1.30 p.m. on that day. That day is January 17th. Remember, don't play dismissals from 9 to 1.30. You can have a dismissal on 1.31, but not 1.30. Now a special announcement from Gavin about Friday Bloopers. Um, hi, I'm Gavin, and I just wanted to have a special announcement about Friday bloopers. So, I have seen people kind of like them and kind of don't, uh, working towards that um, later in the year. But I just wanted to say that this is the last Friday bloopers coming up before winter break. So, I'm going to try and make it the best for you guys. And, yeah, so I have for today. Go Waves. Those are fun. Next up, find those ducks. Flight crew! It wasn't for those ducks because if you don't, they're going to be in the school and then they're going to be lonely and they're going to have dust all over them and then we can't find them the next years to come. Now over to Students of the Week with Mr. Stern. Good afternoon, everyone. I am sitting here with Addison Tiemann. Is that correct? And Addison is here because she is one of our nominated Students of the Week. Actually, she was nominated by Mr. Heil. Do you know why you were nominated? I think I was respectful. Apparently, mm -hmm. all four of these students were respectful. So, hey, that, that's an easy thing to do. It costs none of your time and none of your money. Pretty easy to be respectful, wouldn't you yeah. say? So, Addison, this is your certificate, and we got some free Chick-fil-A for you. Thank Congratulations. You. Our next recipient, this is Charlotte Lang, and Charlotte Lang was nominated by Mr. Heffron. I didn't know anybody was respectful to Mr. Heffron. 
Apparently some people are. I'm just kidding, Effie. Um, Mr. Heffron has nominated Charlotte Lang for being respectful. Your certificate and your free Chick-fil-A. Congratulations. Our next recipient for being respectful is Olivia Wallace. Olivia was nominated by Mrs. Heron. And uh, are you a big Bengals fan? Um, no, not really. No, did you this catch that crazy? Ah, oh, your dad, your dad a big Bengals fan? So he was probably pretty excited on Saturday. Yeah. That was a pretty big comeback. So Olivia, your certificate and you. your free Chick-fil-A. Enjoy. <laughs> and our last recipient, this is Sam. I know Sam is a member of our cross-country team, and uh, he many times was very respectful. Nominated by? Mrs. Hermotka. Nominated by the cross-country coach, Mrs. Hermotka. So your certificate and your free Chick-fil-A. Congratulations. <laughs> and this is the final week of being respectful. That doesn't mean you can't be respectful in the new year. It just means we're going to move into a new PBIS initiative. Have a great day. Thanks, Mrs. Stern, and wow, can you believe it? Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A, yeah. And congratulations to you guys. Again, we're not taking anything away from you. You guys did a great, awesome job this week. Chick-fil-A. Exactly. Enjoy that Chick-fil-A. Maybe I'll get some chicken tenders. Back to Mr. Stern with Athletes of the Week. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern here uh, for our Athletes of the Week. But before we do that, I want to remind you that on Wednesday, the boys have a big game against Creekside. And if you attend that game at halftime, uh, we will get you a ticket. And that ticket will go into a drawing for uh, Papa John's for you and your friends at lunch. So I'll pick that up for you. I will bring that to lunch. And uh, again, that is a 4.30 and 5.30 game here on Wednesday. But enough about the boys, right? Let's talk about the girls. I am here with Emma Christerson. She is our Girls Gold Athlete of the Week for the 8th grade. And it says, ever since Emma first started walking, she could be found on the court with a basketball in her hands. She first started playing basketball when she was in kindergarten and hasn't looked back since. Throughout her basketball career, she has won two state championships and a national championship with her previous AAU teams. She was also selected to play on the Nike EYBL circuit for the state of Ohio, which is quite an accomplishment considering Nike only sponsors 32 girls teams across the country. As a Lady Abe, Emma is starting point guard for the 8th grade girls gold team. While she is not a true point guard, she has stepped up to help the team to a 5-1 start this season. In her first six games, Emma has averaged a total of 18 points per game, with her best game being against Ridge when she scored, do you know how many points? 35. 35 points with, do you know how many three-pointers you had? Eight. Eight three-pointers. Defensively, she always gives 110% and can be found helping trap the opponent's best player during the press. She is a leader on the floor and has very high basketball IQ. While Emma's identity is almost always associated with basketball, she is also a leader off the court. She is kind and caring, and she uh, definitely makes people proud, uh, especially her coach and her parents as well, and they are looking forward to seeing her grow over the next few years. Congratulations. Thank That's you. an awesome write-up. Emma, this is your certificate. And how about some free Chick-fil-A? And I'm going to send you with your write-up as well, because that should go on the refrigerator. Fantastic. And for our 7th grade girls gold, we have Delilah Shepherd Easton. Welcome, Delilah. And you have an awesome write-up as well. It says, Delilah is the starting point guard on the 7th grade Lady A's gold basketball team. In her first four games, Delilah averaged over 13 points, was tenacious on defense, and always boxed out. Delilah not only plays the game at 100%, she also approaches every practice with the same energy, enthusiasm, and intensity. When the team and coaches were asked to vote for Athlete of the Week honors, Delilah received the most points. You know, talking to Coach Frank today, um, if I'm not mistaken, both you and Emma were nominated by your teammates. Maybe. Were you aware of that? Yeah, we were. That's an awesome honor. Some of the reasons given by her teammates included she always works hard and remembers the plays. Delilah has such a good attitude whenever we have practice. She always gives 110% in every drill. Delilah is supportive of her teammates. Her teammates said that as well. And Coach Christerson added, Delilah is a great leader and floor general. 
From a coach's perspective, Delilah is a rare player that just gets it. She always listens and is extremely coachable. Delilah conveys a positive attitude, has an infectious smile, there it is, and an absolute delight to coach. She is destined to showcase and share many great moments in the Lady A's basketball program. And uh, it's very exciting what you guys have heading into the high school in the next couple of years. It's fantastic. So Delilah, your write-up, which you should put on the fridge, your certificate as well, and enjoy free Chick-fil-A. Congratulations. Clap, 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 clap. And that is our first uh, rendition of Athlete of the Week for the winter season. Thanks, Mr. Stern, and wow, congratulations to our Athletes of the Week. Awesome job. Keep putting up points for Sycamore. Woo! Birthdays! Happy birthdays to those celebrating today. Kevin Z. Michelle X. Tanya C. Neil C. Yeah! Woo! Have an awesome time celebrating your special day. Now over to everybody's favorite segment, TikTok Tuesday. Okay, we're gonna be doing a flexibility contest today with Riley, Ali, Jack, and other Jack. Okay, we're gonna start off with a left split. Okay, so this is a left split. Let's go, Jack. Ooh. Okay, so this is a right split. Next, we're doing middle splits. Okay. Okay, Jack. That's not bad. All right. Okay, now we're doing kicks. Okay, so now we have the jacks with their kicks. Yeah. Okay, now they're doing the next leg. Okay. Okay, so now we're doing cartwheels. Okay, so now we have Jack's cartwheel. Okay. We have other Jack's cartwheel. Okay, so now we're doing round offs. Oh! Yes, Izzy. So now we have Jack with his round off. Okay. He tried. Now we have other Jack with his round off. Oh, God. He lands on two feet. Now for the joke of the day! Woo! Why did the egg hide? I don't know why. It was a little chicken. <coughs> oh. Well, that's all we have for the day. Might have been a little bit more energetic than the usual, but that's because we're almost a winter break. We enjoy doing this for you guys. Bryson and I are going to sign us out today. Go Waves! Guys, that's Avery who makes the music.